Hi, welcome to Grammar 4x4 Overland. This is a presentation of a new project I've embarked upon, which is to design and build a budget rear drawer system for my Discovery 2. This part one of this uh, project is to do with the design of the uh, storage system. So I'll take you through how I've gone about getting those parameters set up and uh, using CAD, which I have been proficient at in the past uh, to design the uh, system. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so on this design, I uh, decided to make some uh, basic parameters to uh, live by. So the material must be readily available at any large hardware store or available online through Amazon or, or one of those uh, agencies. In this situation, the rear seats will be up because I will have more than two passengers likely on a lot of trips. Uh, they must be able to apply a load on top of the drawers. So I'd like to leave the drawer system in place uh, when I'm not using it. Uh, so I can basically uh, not have to take it in and out all the time. Uh, the idea behind that is if you have kids like me, you're going to hockey or baseball or soccer or whatever, and you need to uh, put their bags in the back. I want to be able to be able to put the stuff on top of this without worrying about damaging the system. System will be secured down to the tie down points. There's four really good tie down points in the back of the Discovery. Uh, the drawers will be secured closed, so there'll be a latch network a latching system and there has to be space left above for a mini fridge and other cargo or modifications to the drawer system later. So on the back of the Discovery I took a picture here um, just to show the kind of measurements that I've been taking. This Discovery is a, a, four, a five seater, uh, it does not have the seats in the back but it does have those existing storage boxes over the wheel arches which is kind of nice. Uh, they're very, very, uh, very large, and uh, you can just dump a whole bunch of stuff in there. It's quite secure. Uh, the distance between the storage boxes was roughly 44 inches, and uh, I could go that wide, but it kind of makes it a little difficult with the uh, tie downs, and also with the drawers coming out of the back of the vehicle, impacting on the side of the uh, the rear door assembly there with the with the tray and also for tying down uh, you kind of have to have access to those tie down points so between the tie down points that's about 40 inches uh, I originally designed this with 43 inches to leave a little space between the uh, boxes but once I realized I was going to tie it down I thought well I might as well just make it as close as I can get to between those uh, tie down points at the front which are uh, 40 inches tie downs at the back are a little narrower uh, also at the back, uh, if you're lying this flat down, you can't see, but uh, the wheel arches actually come in just about sort of eight inches before the, the back seat and uh, that impedes the flatness of the drawer system and I may, have to, I may have to raise it up and put it on stilts, so to speak, but I didn't want to do that. So I've decided on 40 inches for the width. In the right hand side, you can see that there's a variation in depth, obviously, with the angle of the back seat. The depth to the seat uh, at the bottom is about 34 inches, right from the the, the lip there of the uh, of the rear uh, door, and uh, the depth to the seat at the high point is 29 inches. Uh, so I've kind of decided on a depth of 27 inches. That leaves me a little bit of space behind uh, to put some things in to store securely behind the uh, drawer system if I need to. And also I want to have uh, two or three or four inches uh, of the uh, the back of the uh, carpet uh, so I can uh, leave that tray in place on the door there. Uh, and also it makes it a good match up for the tie down points. So 27 inches is the depth and 40 inches is the width. The height, uh, I figured I would go about halfway up uh, the uh, this, the storage boxes height so it works out to be about nine inches uh, in fact with you uh, if you add the two thicknesses it's about uh, ten and a half inches so I wanted a drawer depth or a drawer space of nine inches okay so here's the model uh, beginnings this is the first component in the assembly that I designed uh, this is the base plate uh, which is going to be five eighths of an inch thick uh, birch plywood 
and as we talked about earlier the width uh, is going to be 40 inches here and the uh, 27 inches of depth uh, back so that's really uh, the first component and everything gets built off of that uh, so I'll bring up the next uh, assembly that uh, I created you can see here that the dimensions uh, are still showing on the top and the bottom the top is transparent so we can see through uh, the uh, model uh, the sides here are nine inches uh, wide uh, tall and then the backs are designed to fit in uh, the spacing in here is is the largest spacing you can get it's obviously between the 40 inches for the width of the drawers and uh, i've got these uh, 22 inch slides that i purchased that uh, will go in uh, for the uh, drawers there are 100 pound slides uh, per drawer so that should be more than enough weight for those I also have these components here, if I can zoom in a bit here. I just designed these little uh, catches here, so the, these, are, these catches can be assembled and then hooked up to the uh, tie down points, which will be down here. They're on the back at the rear because the tie down points probably going to be around here and uh, around here. So this is the drawer assembly that uh, has been designed to fit into the box assembly that we've just uh, created before. Um, this is half inch. Uh, plywood designed all five sides and uh, the runners are the other half of the uh, of, of the sliders that uh, we already talked about looking at using maybe some corner reinforcement at the bottom to help provide some stability uh, in all four corners of the uh, model uh, using this leather handle design to save a little bit of weight looks kind of cool as well I think Going to be joining the wood uh, through either doweling, screwing, gluing, biscuits, not sure yet, uh, but whatever I can find that makes the most sense for the type of application that we have here. Here is the full assembly here and uh, we can show a nice animation of the uh, drawers. So I can show the drawer opening and closing here. And uh, it gives you an idea of how much it can come out. So the 22 inch slide is a full slide. So it will actually come out the full 22 inches. Uh, so if I set them at the right depth, I'm only going to have five inches underneath at the back uh, here. And I think that's fine because there might be a fair load in here. And uh, if it kind of does bend, you might to catch it on the back here uh, before it actually like comes right over. So we can close that back up again. Uh, just a word about these holes in the sides and on the back. That was just an idea I had about weight saving. Uh, initially when I built this and I, and I set materials, um, the system was telling me that uh, this was about 80 pounds in weight, which is not insignificant. Uh, so that was when I was using three quarter plywood on the outside. I switched to five eighths and cut out these holes and it took 10 pounds of weight off of the model so it went down to 70 pounds uh, so even as a percentage that's you know 12 15 percent uh, savings in weight which is uh, which is pretty pretty good but uh, these are optional obviously and uh, may or may not do that depending on you know how much uh, how much i think it might be beneficial one other little bonus uh, i did model a 547 quart arb fridge uh, to see what it would look like on top and uh, you can see that uh, it would fit quite nice on here so if i go to the uh, go to the right hand side here you can see that it does have a little bit of overhang um, but uh, i do have the clearance in the back and uh, you could probably fit a nice arb slide on here as well on the top and have this slide in and out towards you uh, but there should be plenty of clearance on top of it to lift the lid up uh, and I did do a little bit of a mock-up in the uh, in PowerPoint to show the drawer system in place. So that's the system. I'm uh, ready to build it, uh, which will be part two of the uh, video. Here you can see a mock-up in the back of the uh, Land Rover as it will look when it's installed. I'm also going to finish it off nice with some carpeting. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and uh, I'll be making part two as soon as I'm finished building the uh, project. Cheers.